Did you know that barbers need more training hours to start working than police do? That would be funny if it wasn't true. Are you stunned? I was. What kind of world do we live in when you need more training time to use a curling iron than to use a gun? Six years ago, I made a video called Same Story. I mean, the names in the cities change, but it's the same story. They say he was unarmed, not a gun or a knife, yet the cop felt it right to end his life. That was six years ago. And today, it's the same story. I'm no prophet, no Stradamus, nor did I make a gamble. I just know these reruns will keep happening because the world is stuck on the same channel. I don't need to see Annalise and how to get away with murder because cops do that every day. Just think about the countless people who don't make it home, who aren't known, because they weren't lucky enough to have those crimes recorded with an iPhone. Listen, we can march, protest, pray, and post, and that's good, we should. But it won't solve this. Racism runs deep. Just Google the dog test. This is gonna keep happening until we realize there's no place for bad apples in a career that's life or death. Chris Rock said it best. That's like an airline saying, some of our pilots like the land, but some of the bad apples, they like to crash, and that's something we just have to accept. No, no, so ain't no moving on until we get caring people with quality training wearing these blue uniforms. Don't you get it? The country of Finland went from the bottom in education to the top within a few years. Want to know how they did it? They made teaching a prestigious career. They said you have to have a master's degree to be a teacher. Well, we must do the same thing here. Being a cop is not a prestigious career. That's clear, and I don't mean to be a cynic, but a cop told me once that you get officer of the month if you write the most tickets. To all the police out there, listen. You have the right to remain silent for one minute. Give me your undivided, just for this part. Do not let the meadow in that badge block the energy of your heart. I know your world is gloomy. You see people at their ugliest, so I imagine it is hard to see their beauty. The only problem is, this is your duty. You signed up for this job, and out of respect, you do not get to step on the necks, nor the human rights of the people you swore to protect. Liberty and justice for all means every color. There's no escaping it, no running away from it. If a person's skin is seen as a weapon, they will always be considered armed and extremely dangerous. So please, be tough on crime, but also be a decent human being. And if you can't, just quit. Because you are not what we need. All we want to do is breathe. And if you still can't empathize, ask yourself this question. What if it was you on the other side?